My name is The Adipose and in this video I'm going to be showing you my workflow method of how to make good looking professional videos quickly and efficiently. Well, greetings everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my personal workflow um, to get out professional looking videos um, with the minimum of fuss. Now, although I've shown you several free editors over the course of the last few videos, um, I, the one I use isn't free. And the, the old saying of you get what you pay for is more or less true when it comes to video editors. Um, but there are some majorly expensive ones and then there are some kind of mid-range um, priced ones. And uh, I use some of the mid-range priced ones. I actually use um, a program called Movie Edit Pro Plus. Um, and I use the 2000 um, and 2013 edition. And this is by a company called Magix, which you can see in the top left-hand corner. But any kind kind of um non-free video editor will probably do the job for you as long as it has kind of a timeline view which you can see here and by timeline I mean that I can see all of the video footage that I'm going to have um, on several different tracks and I can kind of move it up and down. Lots of people use um, very expensive programs like Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere um, and then there's other kind of cheap ones as well. I think there's a, a Corel video edition, there's an Adobe uh, cheaper one. There's, there's various options available but this is basically how I work. I have a, a file, or several files, which I keep that are skeleton videos like this. I mean, if I just move this orange bar around, this is basically um, what I'm currently, with the part of the video that's currently playing. And you'll see here, right at the beginning of my videos, are my credits. Um, my opening credits with a small gap in front of it um, and you'll see here the familiar kind of adipose logo and up here after a big gap I've then got my end credits um, all ready to go and basically what I do is I save this as a blank file and then every time I make new footage or a new video I bring it into this file and what that means is that all I need to do is then kind of reorder it to get the new introduction before my um, opening credits then the video's main content and then the end credits at the end. Now you might be kind of thinking well hang on a minute I haven't got a logo and I haven't got an end credits okay fine I'll be showing you how to do them in a future videos but if you google around um, and have a look on various websites I'm sure you can um, get some sort of banner or even just put some kind of text or something at the end or in the middle but this is how I work. I'm going to show you one of the, um, the one of my Simpsons um, videos that I, I recorded um, a, f a few days ago and if I was going to put it together this is basically how it works. I would make myself a big space in the middle. I'm going to move my credits way past the end length of the video and if I'm doing like a, a half an hour let's play that might even mean moving the end credits like beyond the hour mark or something like that because you can just zoom really can you can zoom out as kind of as far as you want really within um, within reason. And then I'm going to bring in the the raw footage um, of um, whatever it is I've taken. This particular one was me recording the iPad. And then I'll bring in my voice because I record my voice and my game sounds separately. Um, and I'll talk to you about um, that probably in another video but basically there are several programs which allow you to record um, visuals and voice separately and I strongly recommend that you do because it does allow for a lot more precise editing um, later on um, you, and, and I'll, I'll show you an example of that now because what that means is here um, is that basically this top track here is my video the second track is my audio of the video so in this case it's going to be the Simpsons noise and then the bottom one is my voice and what I could do here is if I pull this down this is the volume of just the game audio and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that down pretty low because it is disconnected from um, the rest of the audio so maybe so by pulling that down it means that people the user is going to be here be able to hear my voice really nice and clearly and then what I do to my video track is I add uh, sorry my, my voice track is I add a few little effects um, that m most video players have some sort of similar effect to this but basically I'm removing any noise any hiss any clipping and I'm also running something called a, co a compressor and basically what that does is it is it makes the my the, the bits when I'm talking more quietly louder and the bits when I'm talking more loudly a bit quieter so it makes the volume level um, consistent throughout and you can see those effects that have now appeared here compression denoise dehist clip and then some some uh, programs have a thing called normalize but I just set the volume manually to to 0.3 or to plus three, but uh, that, I know that because of a bit of an experimentation. And, and now you can just see visually that this track is a lot louder than this track. And with those effects, I'm now going to have a very clear vocal 
sound on top of my image. Now, if I zoom in closely here, um, and I know I always kind of work this, you'll see there's some audio here, which you can see all these little peaks and stuff, and then it stops here. Now, that's because that's my little intro. You know the bit where I kind of say, hi, my name is the Adipose, and blah, 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 and this show I'm going to show you whatever. Uh, so that stops there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get what's called the, the scissors tool or the cut tool, and I'm going to chop that bit off, and I'm going to chop off the front here as well. Um, so I've just got my little intro and um, the, the advantage of these um, tend to be paid for programs is that you it's really really easy to do that chopping around um, so I've just easily just cut those bits apart I'm going to select them and I'm going to move in front of my credits now so you can see that's the bit where I'm kind of saying hi welcome to the show blah 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 blah, blah and there's my little adipose explosion and then I'm going to do a little cool little effect here I'm just going to pull in that there I'm going to pull in that there, and what that means is if I if I now just show you slowly, it means that rather than just the having the 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 Simpsons image suddenly appear, it fades in. Can you see that? But I haven't applied that to my voice, so my voice will be like hi straight away, um, but then it'll fade out again at the end, like that. And then to close it all up nicely, um, I can then grab the kind of credits themselves and pull them in so they line up like that, so there's no kind of gap. Because basically what you want to do, and this is a bit of a kind of a tip here in terms of um, video style, is you want to get into the content of your video as quickly as possible, but also put some sort of hook at the beginning to get people interested. Never put, I, I don't put my logo at the start because some videos just have horrifically long logos at the beginning and you stop watching before you've even got past the logo so I have a quick thing in my personal style is I kind of say hey this is what the video is going to be about logo and then there's the video other people might just have like a, a two second logo at the, at the beginning that just goes bonk here's my name and then it goes in um, there's no right way there's no wrong way but you want to keep it short and snappy um, this bit here is a bit of music, um, if I just scroll down here, this is the, the Simpsons theme tune, but in, uh, in a lot of my other videos it's that kind of string quartet, that dun, 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 like dramatic music, and what I'm, doing, what I'm doing there is I'm lining up that piece of music with this piece of music, so it moves from the introductory music to the, um, the theme tune music, and then this extra little bit of video here, if I just play it to you, you see see this logo in the top left hand corner there that's actually part of the video footage and again I always have that bit in there already so when I'm just copying in the new footage all of that um, is ready to go which makes the workflow go really really fast and then it's a case of just grabbing the main body of my um, content and um, pulling it in like that and again I'm gonna and again I'm gonna just uh, tweak that beginning bit there so it fades out of the logo and then fades into here but I'll start talking straight away and then this is the bit where I will um, start taking out any of the footage I didn't like so it's what you'll need to do here is start listening to your own footage and see what you like and what you don't like but say for example this bit here these three seconds let's just say I didn't like them or, or I made a mistake and or I, I just I'm wasting viewers time and, and that's the other thing if you ever start doing an um or, or I'm not sure what I'm saying here you are wasting your viewers time and they will log off so let's say if I didn't like that I'll just let those tracks all together I'm gonna press that cut tool again and I've, I've now created a gap between, I've, I've now created a, a, a division between these two, and then I could just simply pull these up like this so to get rid of those two seconds, move everything else across, and then it's taken that little bit of footage out. If I want to make it look a bit more professional, then what I could do is do what's called a transition, um, which is where one kind of fades into the other. And there's some cool effects that you can get where like it uh, like has like checkerboards or weird and wonderful shapes. But I tend to just use a simple dissolve, and you'll see here as I go from one to the other. Can you see that's that fade in there? and most viewers they'll kind of notice it but their brains won't mind it because it's quite subtle moving nicely from one bit to the other but alternatively I'm just going to press undo a few times and get my video back together supposing I like the video footage but I just mucked up what I was saying the advantage here of having old multiple tracks is this I could just cut just the vocal track cut out the bit I don't want and then I could just record some vo vocals over the top so I could do that now I'll just press the record button blah 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 and then what that'll do, it'll ask me if I want to keep the take, I'll say yes, and look, here's my brand new vocals. And I use that trick a huge amount. I'll, I'll record my footage um, with doing my vocals in a single take, and then I'll go back and I'll edit little bits here and there. I do that for my tutorials a whole ton, and even in my Let's Plays, you know, if there's, if there's an area where perhaps I don't speak very much, or an area where I'm not really making much sense, I'll go back in and I'll just edit little bits here and there. Um, 
to, to kind of make the viewer experience kind of more comfortable and um, more enjoyable to watch because at the end of the day you, what you are making here is kind of either you're either um, creating to inform or you're creating to entertain and either way it needs to be fairly fast paced um, and fun um, so I'll do any kind of edits I need to um, along the video and then it's a case of then grabbing those end credits sticking them on the end making sure um, that it kind of links together nicely so I'll probably then have it kind of zoom out just check the footage it zooms out and then it goes into the credits and then what I have here is I have a text one this, this is video this top one here that's now in yellow which is the video of the credits and I'll, I'll talk about how I made that another time but this bit is text and so that means I can edit this live so if I if I was playing a different game I can change it for this particular video if I've referred to a particular player or another website I can edit that in there and the same goes for my opening credits as well the 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 exploding globe with the adipose on it um, is the video but the Simpsons tapped out bit I can change to another game at any point and the 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 individual title I can change at any point and what that means is I don't have to make credits over and over and over again for different games different tutorials or anything I just have one video that I reuse over and over again and then just change um, the, the text a little bit and what I've done there is I put a little effect on the text and you see the text moves slightly it kind of zooms in and out a little bit and it kind of fades in and fades out so I've tried to make it look like it's all kind of part of the same um, animation but actually it's not and this saves me a huge amount of time in fact I've actually taken more time explaining it to you than I actually do making the videos I record it I dump it in here, I chop it into bits, bit before the credits, change the titles, put the main body, change any little bits that I need to, make it shorter, snappier, as, and then stick the end credits on the end, double check it, and then this is an important bit, watch it back through, especially while you're still learning to do it, because the number of times I've made mistakes, like I've le I, might, I might have left in me saying something like, oh no, I'd better cut this out, and literally left that in, um, or just have a bit of footage where I'm doing the wrong thing, or something like that, so watch it back through, make sure you're happy with it, and and then it's a case of whatever particular program you're using will have some sort of export feature. And I always, ex always export mine as an MPEG-4, but you could do it as a WMV, you could do it as an FLV file, something that YouTube or whatever program will work as, and then um, off you go. And I'll talk about my export settings um, another time, but they're fairly standard. I always normally do mine at, seven to, at 720 with a fairly high um, kilobits per second. Um, export it, and then um, off it goes up to YouTube. And that is my workflow. I always start with um, my credits at the beginning, my credits at the end, the music's already in there, add in the footage, rearrange, chop, cut, paste, re-edit where, where, where needed, export it, upload it. And that's how I manage to do maybe do one or two videos a day because a lot of the work is already done for me in advance. So it's worth taking your time to make good logos, good credits, find a program that you like, and then you're ready to go making videos of your own. Hope you found that useful. And if you did, then please, 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 um, then do give the video a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get see plenty of examples of my techniques at work. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.